Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am so excited. You guys have heard me talk a lot about how much money I've spent at Ulta in the past few days. I'm really excited. I got this box yesterday and my final box came the day after, which is today. Um, and then I am waiting on one palette that was in this order that shipped separately. What we'll do is we'll show you the palette. But we won't want like wait to do the haul for that palette because I didn't want to do that. It's like a very small one, so it is what it is. But that being said, I put in three orders, probably like within a five-day period. Each one was over $150. I think the cheapest one I did was like $160. So I spent a ton of money at Ulta, but I got a lot of really good products that are up and coming. I got a lot of really good gifts as well that were incentives for diamond members. So that was why I made the decision to go ahead and purchase everything I did. This particular haul, I bought everything, minus the lip collection, because I'm not a big lip person, but I bought everything in the Too Faced Holiday Collection. I am hit or miss with the Too Faced Holiday Collection. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. The only one that like really sticks out, I absolutely hate it. It's probably the worst palette I own. If it broke today, I probably would not even care. It is the white chocolate from Too Faced, which was their holiday palette two years ago because last year they did gingerbread and the gingerbread one I liked a lot the white chocolate was awful um, it was chalky it didn't blend well the colors didn't look like what they looked like in the pan when they were on your face so overall it was just a really big miss it's one of the one of the saddest products I've bought I think in my life that being said I'm always a little hesitant after that to do the holiday collections from them because I've heard people kind of give similar complaints some people say they rush them and they try and get them out too fast and so the quality is not there. Whereas with some of their like staple products like the chocolate palettes, the quality is very much there because they've worked on these formulas for a while, they've perfected them before releasing them to the public. That being said, I was like, I don't care. All the holiday collection is beautiful. It's packaged really cool, the colors are really pretty. So I was like, you know what, I'm doing this for the YouTubes. I want this collection anyway. But if I purchase it now, before you guys go into purchasing season for the holidays, then I can give you an accurate representation of how I feel about the product and hopefully give you some insight as to whether or not they're products you would like to purchase yourself. So that is why I did it. Um, I spent $200 after tax on this box. I did get quadruple points, I think, for diamond members. So I made, um, I got like 893 points on this. That is almost a thousand points. A thousand points is fifty dollars of um, cash at Ulta, because two thousand is one hundred and twenty-five dollars. I got a lot of points for it as well, which kind of helped. I've rambled a bunch about what's in this box, so let's just go ahead and look about, oh, look about, look about, look at what's in this box. The first thing I'm going to bring out is not part of the Too Faced collection. I bought two palettes that were not in the Too Faced collection because they were on sale. They are brands that I've, they're both from the same brand, but they're a brand that I've never used before. It is Winky Lux. I've heard a lot about them. Um, the palette that's still in the mail is from them as well. It's a nice little like kind of neutral shaded one. But this one, I just love the packaging on it. So this is the palette itself, very tiny, but it comes in just the most adorable little like collector's box that I've ever seen. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set this on top of one of my makeup chest of drawers because I have a couple of them, but I think I'm gonna set this on top of one just as like a cute little like box to put jewelry in so really cute packaging I like that a lot um this guy I think is normally $25 but was on sale for $15 I may be wrong it might have been only $20 but still I don't think I would have paid much more for than $15 for this because it is only a six pan eyeshadow palette um you can tell just based on like this packaging itself is a little bit cheaper heavy cardboard but it's not like a nice heavy cardboard if that makes sense and there's no mirror I don't mind that. It doesn't bother me that there's no mirror and the colors are really pretty. So um, I'm hoping that I really like the formula for them and I'm excited to do a review of that. But like I said, it was on sale for 15 and um, that's about the max that I think I would be willing to pay for this palette. So, And this is the Smitten palette and I don't remember the name of the other one that I bought, but I will send it to Nikki so he, when he's doing his editing magic, can be like, this is it. But yeah, so I got two of those. Um, like I said, they're on sale for 15 so together they were 30 Now for the main starters for the show. Because this is what I would call like the, the eye, if you will, of the collection. This is the star. This is what everybody's going to be looking at first of the collection. I'm going to go in with the spicy, I'm sorry, the gingerbread extra spicy palette which is their main holiday palette for the season. This is what the packaging looks like. It's that same nice kit, like metal tin that we're used to from their collections. And actually, I really debated whether or not I was gonna buy this or not. Oh, I forgot also a highlight. 
The reason I put this this purchase in when I did was because they had um, Ulta had Too Faced as a brand on sale for 30% off. So every single thing that I got in this collection was 30% off, which is why I purchased all of them now because I wasn't sure if that's going to happen again. It might with the holiday sales coming up. It may not. So that's why I figured I'll go ahead. I'll get a good deal on it. I'll get some awesome points on it and I'll be able to review it for you guys so you can see if it's worthwhile. Now that I've said that, you guys can um, keep that in mind as well. So this is normally a $49 palette. I think I picked it up for $39 because of that deal. I almost didn't purchase it, to be honest, because I was worried looking at the picture. It was very similar to last year's. It's not. I did. I actually pulled out last year's. We did an eye look with that after I purchased this because I was like, I really want to like work with it. I didn't work with that a ton last year because I bought a bunch of palettes at the same time. So it kind of got neglected. I loved that palette. I really liked the eye look that I created with it. Um, but then having just had worked with it and then opening this one, I realized that all the shades in this are are a lot different. Um, there's a lot more darker stuff. There's a lot more of the oranges and the reds, which were in the other palette, but they seem to be a lot more subdued. This one is a more, um, because it's extra spicy, this is more of a bold look is what I would call that. And they do still sell the original gingerbread. So if you're not into bold looks, you would rather have a neutral palette. You can still pick that one up too. So that is this one. I will be doing a review of that very soon, I am sure. And then the rest of the collection, basically they like to do bundle sets. Uh, and the bundle sets I kind of think of as a lot of them you can break apart if you wanted to give it to multiple people, putting them in stockings, like stocking stuffers and stuff, especially if you have like teens who are trying to get into makeup and you don't want to give them like a whole big set or you can give it to somebody as a present or you can get it for yourself like I do because I, I give myself presents all the time. This is not one of those sets per se, but this is like a mini. Um, I know they did like the chocolate chip palette and stuff. That's like the mini little ones. And this is what I would equate to that. This is hot buttered rum. It smells so good. And this was on sale for $20. I almost didn't pick this one up as well because it's, it was $20 for eight shades, but oh my gosh, like they're so pretty. And honestly, when you think eight shades, $20 a piece, you're, a, you're averaging like what, two and a half dollars a shade. That's not unreasonable. Really excited to use this one as well. It's just a nice neutral one to have like, it, especially if you're traveling over the season, to have in your makeup bag just to give you some glitter and um, some nice blending shades. I think this is a good one. I can't wait to test it out. Most likely I won't do a full review on just this one because it's only eight colors, but we'll see. Maybe I will. We'll depend. It depends on how I feel, honestly. So those are the two palettes. Now jumping into those bundle sets that I was talking about. This is the Gingerbread Lane. So this is, um, when I did my spicy or my um, gingerbread palette, the makeup tutorial with that one, I also used a set that they offered three years ago which was, I think for New Year's is what they did it for, but they included um, three separate palettes with eye shades, and then one had a contour, one had a blush, and one had a, um, a highlight. This is the same concept, but in this year's version. So you get three separate little books, if you will. What's so cute about these, like I was saying with the stocking stuffers, is they have on the back of them a little to from thing. So really they're intended that you could give these as separate gifts. I really like that concept because each one has a different color scheme. So if you're thinking, oh, I know, you know, one of my best friends, I have, you know, a couple best friends and one of them really likes purple shades. One of them really likes brown shades. You can kind of personalize it and all like it comes from the same collection, if you will. So I do like that they do these kind of things. These are all for me. So we're going to dive into each one of them. Um, so this one is a uh, berry pie, I believe is what they call this. And it, the, each one smells like what they're called. Berry Merry Christmas is what this one is called. And it smells... Oh. Nikki, come smell this. Come smell this palette. It smells like berries. It does. It smells like berries. Anyway, so now that we've sniffed the palette, that is what it looks like. It doesn't come with a mirror. It is like a nice little cardboard, like what I would call like a heavy like children's book, like with the thick cardboard. That's kind of what the feeling of this is. But they're really pretty. The Sweet Tooth is a gorgeous shade. That's that pinky glitter one. And then I really like the cheek color as well. The next one we have is sugar plum cookie. It smells like a sugar cookie. And this is my personal favorite one because those two purple glitter shades are like feeding my soul. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be grabbing this one a lot for the holiday season. Although I always say that and then I um, have 8,000 other palettes to choose from and I probably will wind up forgetting about it because I'm very bad about that. But hopefully I won't because those are pretty colors. And then the finally one is Totally Bananas. It smells like banana bread. And um, it's just a nice neutral palette. So as you can see, there are three very different shades. There's a purple, there's a pinky one, and then there is the nice neutral brown one. 
You get all three of those in this collection. This was one of the cheaper ones. I think I only paid like 26 for it. So on like normal price, it's like 34 or something like that. I really like that they do this because I do think like if you're trying to buy teacher gifts, things like that, it's a nice way to get like a nice little palette. You buy a couple of them at the same time and then you can separate it out or you can give it to one person. It's up to you. You get to, you know, you're the master of your own choices. Moving on, we have two more little sets in here. We've got the Too Faced Christmas Star palette. This was really cool for the packaging, honestly. I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna get it just because I want to see what the package looks like. Okay, so this one comes with a mini Better Than Sex mascara. I always, I never can have enough of these. I always collect these. I love them. It's one of my favorite mascaras, so that's exciting. Um, it also comes with a very glittery pink lip gloss. That's very glittery. That's, I, it's not really my color, but maybe I'll use it or... I haven't opened it, like I haven't opened it yet, so maybe I could put it in a giveaway. I don't know, I'll probably use it just to see. But this, this the, the main star, if you will, is, <laughs> this is the palette. And the way you open this here palette is you pull your little gingerbread girl down and literally it is a star filled with different contour, or I mean bronzer shades, blush shades, highlight shades, and then a ton of eye colors. Hopefully you guys can see that. It does still have the plastic on it and I'm not gonna try and peel it off right now. Just has an absolute beautiful amount of choices, if you will. There's so many different glitter shades and then there's a couple nice neutral blending shades in your eyeshadow palette. You have two really pretty highlighters, two really pretty blushes, and then one nice um, bronzing shade. So overall, it just gives you a lot to work with. I'm really excited to do a full review of this particular palette because I will actually be able to do like a full face look um, with the different contour um, or bronzing options, blush options, highlighter options, and then all the pretty eye looks. So this was one of my favorite things I think when I opened it. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. And uh, I'm excited to see how it winds up working out uh, when I'm testing it on the camera. This is our final set. This is another one of those that you could separate out if you wanted to, but I thought the packaging was adorable. It's a little snow lady. It comes with another mini better than sex mascara. This one's with the candy cane stripe and it's called let it snow girl. Let it snow girl. This one, when I opened it, not a fan of the packaging, just going to be hundred percent honest. It's adorable in terms of aesthetically, but for practicality, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, so, so this is your head. It's magnetic and it's like kind of what I would classify as a cheap feeling um, cardboard. Like this one was cardboard, the, the Christmas star was cardboard and the little books were, they were cardboard as well, but they felt firmer than this. I think because of the way they packaged it, it just makes it feel a little bit like, I feel like I'm gonna dig my nail into it every time I try and open it. But you open, you lift and then you spin and you get for the first one, her little head, you get a, um, bronzer and a highlighter. That's the word I was looking for. So that's what her little head has. And they all open the same way. So I'm I'm gonna be really particular. I'm gonna show you guys once again, lift. See, see, you gotta be like, you gotta be nimble with it too. But see, like you see where my thumb is? Like I could easily like drop it and accidentally drag it across the blush. And that's why I don't like that. I don't want something that I'm worried about stabbing every time I open. Anyway, rant over. Um, but those are, that's a little blush quad. Lots of pretty shades in that one as well. And then the big one is the eyeshadow palette. And once again, they have a lot of really pretty um, options in terms of eyeshadow colors for you. They're a little bit tinier. But once again, this was not a super expensive or super pricey palette um, or collection. And you just have a lot of options with this. You've got Snow Globe, which is this really pretty shade right here. You've got Sugar Show, which is a pretty purple glitter shade. You've got Treat Yo Elf, Treat Yo Elf, uh, which is like a little green shimmer shade. And then you have a lot of really pretty neutrals, Fine Cone, Obviously, uh, Cookie Butter, all these really pretty different options in terms of an eye look for you. So once again, if you wanted to, you could separate this, these palettes out into um, different presents for different people. They all have really pretty um, designs on the front but you could also give it as a full set where you can pick it up for yourself. That is the entire collection. I am excited for this one. I, I did it when I did it because I really did want to give you guys the um, opportunity to see somebody talk about it before you went out and purchased it. If I had seen anybody review the white chocolate palette before I bought it, I would never have purchased it, just being honest. Hopefully these will not have the same 
disappointment factor that I had with that. I really have high hopes for these. Um, their Christmas collection last year was really, really solid, so I'm hoping that this one kind of goes along with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I rambled a lot, but I'm excited about trying all these out on camera for you. Uh, like I said, I bought so much makeup in the past couple days, I had to buy a whole dresser just to store it. So big things are coming, guys. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys supporting us. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Our giveaways are coming up very quickly. Our 100 subscriber giveaway is right around the corner. And then after that, we'll really steamroll into that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm really wanting to do that around Christmas time. So if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see when we post. And as always, have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.